Just one minute ago, a 100-foot crack tore open in Yellowstone. Strange lights flickered from the depths, waves of heat pulsed through the ground and minerals appeared that shouldn't even exist on Earth's surface. Is Yellowstone revealing a secret it's kept for millions of years, or warning us about what's coming next? Yellowstone is more than just an ordinary park, it is a scar left by one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth. The caldera, a vast depression stretches 40 miles long and 25 miles wide through the heart of the Rocky Mountains. It is larger than the city of Los Angeles, and nearly as deep as some of the tallest skyscrapers. In the past 2.1 million years the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone has erupted three times with unimaginable force. The first explosion about 2.1 million years ago spewed enough ash and rock to cover half of North America. The second 1.3 million years ago ripped open a new caldera. The third just 640,000 years ago released more than a thousand cubic miles of material, enough to bury New York City under a mile of ash. The fallout spread as far as the Gulf of Mexico, changing weather patterns and reshaping the continent. Scientists estimate that the final eruption was at least 2,500 times larger than the 1980 Mount St. Helens disaster. Even today the ground breathes and shifts. Satellite measurements show the crater floor rising and falling several inches every year. This constant motion comes from what lies underneath. A vast network of giant manga chambers that stretch deeper than the height of Mount Everest. The first chamber lies just 5 to 15 kilometers below the Earth's surface. It's a network of hot sticky rocks and gases like a heat-soaked sponge. This chamber is the shallowest part of the system and is where most of the park's famous features draw their power. Geysers, hot springs and mud pits all draw their energy from this restless region where temperatures can soar above 730 degrees Celsius. But this shallow chamber is just the beginning. Modern seismic imaging revealed something much larger. A second reservoir extending 12 to 28 miles below the surface. This deeper chamber contains more molten rock than any other volcano in North America. The two chambers connect through a branching maze of conduits. These channels twist and split, carrying heat and volatile materials upward. The rock between these chambers is riddled with fractures. Old cracks from previous eruptions. New splits forming as pressure builds. Some of these conduits are just a few feet wide. Others open into pockets of semi-molten rock hundreds of feet across. When pressure spikes in these narrow passages, the result can be anything from a small vent to a violent hydrothermal explosion. Every earthquake at Yellowstone tells part of the story. The park experiences thousands of tremors each year. Most are too small to feel, but each one maps out the shape of the system below. Each seismic wave that passes through reveals another detail about the hidden architecture. This is what makes Yellowstone different from other volcanoes. It is not dormant, it is not extinct. The system is alive, constantly shifting, always preparing for whatever comes next. When the first video appeared online it went viral faster than any scientific report could track it. The video which was geotagged as Yellowstone showed a clear crack more than a hundred feet long, so deep that the bottom disappeared into darkness, so wide that the rough rock inside was visible, with dark spaces visible in the fissure. Within hours the video had been viewed millions of times. News outlets picked up the story. Social media exploded with speculation of an impending eruption. Sensational headlines appeared. Some claimed the supervolcano was waking up. Others said a catastrophe had occurred. But something did not match up. Scientists who study Yellowstone daily saw the video and immediately noticed inconsistencies. The landscape in the background looked wrong. The rock formation did not match any known location in the park. The crack itself showed characteristics that did not align with volcanic activity. Data analysts began the painstaking work of verification. Frame by frame they compared every visible landmark to satellite maps and elevation models. The jagged peaks in the background were not from Yellowstone's caldera rim, they matched a different formation entirely. The Cathedral Group of the Grand Tetons located nearly 30 miles south of Yellowstone's geyser basins. GIS overlays confirmed the match down to individual snow patches and tree lines. The crack did not run across a volcanic basin, it split a granite pillar towering above Jenny Lake. Park records from July 2018 told the complete story. Mountain guides had reported a new fissure on a popular climbing route. Rangers documented the event as typical weathering. Freeze-thaw cycles had cracked the rock over time. Eventually a combination of rain and temperature changes finished the job. The area was cordoned off for hiker safety, but there was no emergency, no unusual seismic activity, no heat signatures, no volcanic gases, 
just cold granite splitting under natural weathering processes. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory issued no warnings. Their monitoring feeds remained completely normal, yet the video continued to spread. It was re-edited, re-uploaded, and paired with increasingly alarming headlines. Some versions claimed NASA had issued emergency alerts. Others suggested government cover-ups. The more analysts traced the evidence, the clearer the pattern became. A well-documented fracture in the Tetons had been misidentified as a Yellowstone disaster. For researchers, this was more than a simple case of mistaken location. It revealed how quickly misinformation could spread, how easily a dramatic video could be stripped of context and repurposed. The real crack was impressive. Over 100 feet long and deep enough to require climbing gear to explore. But it had nothing to do with volcanic activity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming journeys. When the structural geologist from the National Park Service walked the crack in person, the evidence was immediate. The fracture measured 102 feet in length. At its widest point it was just wide enough to fit a boot inside. Fresh chunks of granite lay along the edges. Sharp and pale compared to the older weathered bedrock nearby. The geologist tapped the rock at regular intervals, listening for hollow sounds that might indicate hidden cavities or deeper instability. Taking measurements of crack width, depth and orientation, photographing the layers exposed by the split, every detail would go into the official report. Samples went straight to the lab. Under a microscope the story became crystal clear. The granite showed classic signs of freeze-thaw weathering, tiny radiating cracks from quartz crystals, rounded feldspar edges worn by repeated melting and expansion, water had seeped into microscopic fissures during warmer hours, then frozen at night. Ice expands with tremendous force, enough to split solid rock grain by grain. This cycle had repeated for decades, perhaps centuries, until a combination of heavy rain, a sudden cold snap and maybe a small tremor finished the process. The result looked dramatic, but it was telling a story as old as mountains themselves. The measurements matched what the samples revealed. No heat anomalies, no unusual gas emissions, no seismic activity beyond normal background levels. The rate of ground movement in the area was typical for the Rocky Mountains, just a few millimeters per year. The result of tectonic plates shifting and land slowly rebounding after the weight of ancient glaciers lifted. Field notes described the event as routine weathering, not magma, not volcanic pressure just frost gravity and time doing what they do to exposed rock in an environment that swings from summer heat to winter cold. For scientists the findings were actually reassuring. Surfaces can split in spectacular ways without signaling disaster. Not every crack is a gateway to catastrophe. The real mysteries at Yellowstone lie much deeper than any weathering process can reach. While a misidentified crack sparked global panic, real discoveries were happening beneath Yellowstone. Discoveries that genuinely challenged what scientists thought they knew about this volcanic system. Geophysicist Robert B. Smith and his research team were running seismic waves through the park's crust. Using data from earthquakes and even geyser eruptions, they tracked how these waves reflected off different layers underground. What the imaging revealed was unexpected. A second magma chamber much deeper than the known shallow reservoir. This deeper chamber extends from 12 to 28 miles below the surface. Deeper than Mount Everest is tall and significantly larger than the upper chamber that powers the geysers and hot springs visitors see at the surface. When viewed in cross-section the two-chamber system looks like a pair of lungs, one shallow and active, one deep and massive, both connected by a network of channels that carry molten material upward. The size of this deep reservoir changed all the calculations. Previous models underestimated how much magma was actually stored beneath the park. This deeper chamber holds enough material to account for the truly massive eruptions in Yellowstone's past, the kind of eruptions that reshape continents. But size was not the only surprise. In a laboratory at the park mineralogists were examining samples from recent hydrothermal explosions. Instead of the expected gray ash and silica deposits, they found something else. Streaks of orange and yellow crust coating the rocks. Under polarized light these crusts glowed with bands of hydrated silica, more like glass than typical volcanic rock. Some fragments contain tiny crystals of amphibole and feldspar. These minerals only form at temperatures above 300 degrees Celsius. They require specific chemical conditions. The presence of these minerals so close to the surface indicates fluids are moving through new pathways, boiling through fresh cracks and cooling in seconds. 
Each mineral layer provides a snapshot of conditions deep underground. The chemistry points to a dynamic boundary, shallow enough for water and gas to escape, but hot enough to blur the line between surface and depths. No exotic materials from the lower mantle, but plenty of evidence that the system operates at higher temperatures and pressures than surface conditions would suggest. What makes these findings significant is the pattern they reveal. Yellowstone's underground system is not static. It is not slowly cooling down. The network of chambers and conduits is active, shifting, creating new pathways for heat and material to rise. The shallow minerals are proof that connections between deep and surface are constantly being remade. Yellowstone operates under constant surveillance. More than 40 seismometers dot the landscape, recording every tremor. GPS stations track ground movement down to the millimeter. Gas sensors measure emissions from vents and fumaroles. All of this data feeds directly to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, where researchers monitor the information 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The sensitivity of this network is remarkable. It can detect a herd of bison crossing a gravel road. It picks up distant thunderstorms shaking the ground. It records the subtle inflation and deflation of the ground as the magma chambers below expand and contract with pressure changes. But the real purpose is early warning. If magma begins to rise, if pressure builds in a critical location, if gases start escaping at unusual rates, the sensors will detect these changes long before any visible signs appear at the surface. Mike Poland leads the monitoring team at the observatory. Every piece of data gets compared to decades of archived measurements. Every tremor is analyzed. Every ground movement is tracked against baselines. When anomalies appear, they are investigated immediately. No spike goes unexplained. No deviation from normal patterns gets overlooked. The team does not just observe. They calculate probabilities. They run models. They assess risk based on current conditions compared to historical patterns. And they communicate findings to the public through monthly updates. The statistics are worth understanding. In any given year, the probability of a catastrophic super eruption at Yellowstone is roughly 1 in 700,000. For context that is lower than the odds of a civilization ending asteroid impact, the supervolcano is not dormant, but it is also not on the verge of erupting. Current monitoring shows typical activity. The number of earthquakes falls within normal ranges. Most are magnitude 2 or below. Too small for most people to feel. Ground deformation measurements show the usual patterns of inflation and deflation. Gas emissions from vents match long-term averages. Nothing in the data suggests unusual pressure buildup or magma movement. This is what modern volcano science provides. Not certainty. Not predictions of exact eruption dates, but comprehensive monitoring that can detect genuine changes when they occur. The observatory team knows what normal looks like for Yellowstone. Thousands of data points collected every day. Patterns established over decades. When something genuinely abnormal happens, they will see it. The 2018 crack that caused so much alarm was traced to the Tetons, not Yellowstone. On-site analysis confirmed freeze-thaw weathering, not volcanic activity. Meanwhile, the actual supervolcano remained under watch. Its vast magma system mapped in increasing detail. Its daily rhythms recorded and analyzed. The deeper scientists look, the more complex the picture becomes. The two-chamber system, the branching conduits, the active mineral formation, the constant ground movement. All of this points to a system that is very much alive, but alive does not mean imminent eruption. The minerals found in recent samples tell a specific story. They form when superheated fluids flash through cracks and cool rapidly. This process happens regularly at Yellowstone. It has been happening for thousands of years. The presence of these minerals confirms the system is hydrothermally active, but hydrothermal activity is normal for Yellowstone. It is what creates the geysers and hot springs. What the minerals do not show is new magma rising toward the surface. They do not indicate pressure building toward an eruption. They confirm what monitoring already shows. The volcanic system is operating within its normal range. The deep magma chamber discovered by seismic imaging changed understanding of Yellowstone's structure. But it did not change the eruption timeline. That deeper reservoir has been there all along. It feeds the shallow chamber above it. The discovery means scientists now have a more complete picture of the plumbing system. It does not mean eruption is more likely. The earthquake swarms that occur periodically at Yellowstone also have clear explanations. Most are caused by hydrothermal fluids moving through fractured rock. As water and gases find new pathways, they cause small tremors. 
This is fundamentally different from the earthquakes that precede volcanic eruptions. Magma-driven earthquakes show different patterns, different depths, different frequencies. The monitoring network can distinguish between the two. When the public sees headlines about cracks or earthquakes at Yellowstone, the context often gets lost. The park sits on an active volcanic system. Cracks form. Earthquakes happen. The ground moves. This is normal. What would be abnormal is a sudden sustained increase in activity across multiple indicators. Rapid ground inflation. Earthquake swarms at increasing depths. Changes in gas composition. Significant heat anomalies. None of these are currently occurring. The crack that went viral was not at Yellowstone. It was standard geological weathering at the Tetons. But the attention it received reveals something important about how information spreads in the age of social media. A dramatic video can circle the globe before accurate information catches up. The actual secrets beneath Yellowstone are being uncovered through decades of careful scientific work. Seismic imaging maps the magma chambers. Chemical analysis reveals mineral formation. Continuous monitoring tracks every tremor and gas emission. This work does not generate viral videos, but it provides the understanding needed to assess actual risk. What this research shows is a volcanic system more complex than previously known. Two major magma chambers instead of one. A network of conduits constantly reshaping itself. Active mineral formation indicating ongoing fluid movement. But complexity does not equal danger. It equals a system operating as it has for hundreds of thousands of years. The annual eruption probability remains extremely low. The monitoring systems remain vigilant. When genuine changes occur, scientists will detect them. The public will be informed through official channels, not through misidentified videos and sensational headlines. Yellowstone will erupt again someday. The geological record is clear about that. But someday could be thousands or tens of thousands of years from now. The supervolcano operates on a time scale that dwarfs human lifetimes. What looks like alarming activity on a human scale may be completely normal on a geological scale. The dark secret underneath Yellowstone is not what viral videos claimed. It is not an imminent eruption, it is not a hidden disaster waiting to unfold. The real secret is how much remains to be understood about one of Earth's most powerful volcanic systems. The two-chamber structure, the extensive conduit network, the active mineral formation. These discoveries reveal a system more dynamic and complex than earlier models suggested. They show that Yellowstone is very much alive, but they also show a system operating within understood parameters. Science continues to uncover new details. Each seismic survey adds information. Each mineral sample provides data. Each year of monitoring builds the baseline used to identify genuine anomalies. This is how volcanic science works. Not through dramatic predictions, but through patient observation and careful analysis. The next time a video claims to show catastrophic changes at Yellowstone, remember the 2018 crack. Verify the location. Check official sources. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory provides regular updates based on actual data, not speculation, not viral videos, but comprehensive monitoring of one of the most watched volcanoes on Earth. Yellowstone holds secrets, but they are being revealed through scientific investigation, not through misidentified cracks and sensational headlines. The real story is one of careful discovery, of technology revealing what lies hidden miles below of a volcanic system more fascinating and complex than any viral video can capture. Understanding Yellowstone requires looking past the hype, examining the evidence, trusting the monitoring systems that watch this giant every second of every day. The supervolcano is not hiding, it is being observed, measured and understood better than ever before. And that understanding shows a system that while powerful, is not on the verge of the catastrophe that internet rumors suggest. The dark secret is simply this. Yellowstone is more complex, more active and more fascinating than anyone imagined. But it is also more stable, more predictable and more thoroughly monitored than sensational stories acknowledge. The truth may be less dramatic than viral videos, but it is far more reliable, and ultimately far more interesting to those willing to look past the headlines and examine what the science actually reveals. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering Yellowstone's hidden truths, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next deep dive into Earth's greatest mysteries. Your support helps us keep exploring the secrets beneath our world. See you in the next video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.